Hey, Joey Dillon here. I get a lot of requests on how to do a flat spin with the gun without dropping it on the ground. So first things first, make sure your gun is not loaded. Then I would say practice over something soft, like over the top of your bed or in your backyard, over the grass, on your knees and the carpet in your living room. And uh, if you're not dropping it, you're not trying hard enough, but after a while you get confident to be able to do it over anything. And with that said, let's get started. So. First thing I like to make sure that you know before you move on to the flat spin is some basic stuff, which will then uh, translate over to the flat spin. So finger in the trigger guard, hammer is down so it couldn't go off even if it were loaded, but we checked it and it's not. And let the gun dip down to your fingers. I'll show you that there. See these fingers? It's a good stopping point for the gun. And I like to fling the fingers back. So it goes down and then fling the fingers back to help send the gun backwards briskly down and back down and back down and back down and back see that now we're going to go down we're going to send the gun up but we're going to extend our hand and our fingers straight while steep still keeping the trigger finger curled so we go down and then we send it with the finger straight until we regrip the gun down send it down send it down send it all the way around down send it all the way around down, send it all the way around, down, send it all the way around. So you're also gonna do a little bit of a, like a steam train has that arm on the big wheels that moves around. So there's a little bit of that, a little bit of wrist, maybe a little bit of arm down and around, just a little bit down and around. So this move is gonna translate into that. Down and around, down and around. But don't jump to that just yet. We gotta, we gotta get there, we're not there yet. So. If you also jump back a step and consider this to this, that's what we'll probably do first with the flat spin. Um, so you can turn your hand and then you're gonna throw it over. And before we do that, it might be important to help gain your confidence if you just loop your finger in the trigger guard like this, okay? And then we're just gonna let go of everything and then just hanging on to the trigger. And that backwards motion, like you're dusting off the top of your car or something, or you're wiping down a counter, that centrifugal force keeps the gun wanting to fly out versus down and off. So again, can ring around your finger there. See that? So then we're gonna add the little concentric locomotive circles later. First, we're gonna just do this, get our confidence going, and then, we're gonna throw it over, we're gonna do that stop. Like I did this before, this is the move we're gonna do for the flat spin. Now when you throw it over here, your fingers can even get under it a little bit, you see that? So you can go here and stop, and then right back to the grip. Now the faster you stop and come the other way, the easier it will be. So back, grip, back, grip, back, grip, back, grip, back, grip, back, grip. Okay, now we're going to go down and we're going to go all the way around. So over and then like that, over and back, over. And there's a real quick whip, real quick little spin there, back and over, back and over, back and over. And I'm doing that, but I'm also whipping the arm to keep the centrifugal force wanting to go out. So down and around, down and around. And again, I'm stopping it here and sending it back. Now it might also help sometimes, um, if that's not doing it for you just yet, is get used to not stopping the gun here, but go in a complete circle like this. So you throw the barrel down, straighten the fingers and come all the way around. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it over, but we're gonna catch it like straight up and down. So we're gonna start horizontal, we're gonna flip to vertical. So go around like this around like that over and then we catch it here which seems sometimes to be easier uh, to help start learning this with some confidence that you're not going to drop the gun i like stopping a lot of times with my thumb here because you could also stop and do that if you wanted which is kind of nice you don't have to you could get to there but trying to avoid this with your thumb to get to the grip makes it a little bit tougher in my opinion plus this always leaves you ready for a trick shot so around round around and it's throwing the gun over and then bringing that elbow back in 
like that. Bring the elbow back down to the hip, brings the gun down. So you could also do a single around like that if you're comfortable. But it gets a little tough to send it back the other way without doing that half spin to the fingers. So down and over, down and over. Now, when you've done that enough times and you've got some serious confidence going, you can go basically, I'm gonna do it vertical first, is avoid hitting the fingers right away, come around once and then hit the fingers, around once and then hit the fingers, around once, hit the fingers and back, around once, hit the fingers and come back. So this is the first one, now we're gonna go do that one. Remember this is the first one, down and back. Now we're gonna go around once and back. So now you can go around once and back, around once and back, around, I'm gonna slow it down here, test the laws of gravity here. So around, over, and back. And I'm having to dip a little bit because I'm slowing it down for you. But if you go fast, you don't have to dip. You can keep it flat, back and forth. Like that. And if this were the movies, they would add a bunch of Foley. But anyway, down and around, down and around. So again, learn the basic down and back, down and back. That translates to this and back, this and back, this and back. Then down and around, down and around, down to the fingers and back around. So it's a half down and then one and a half back. Half, one and a half, half, one and a half. And we can learn around once and then back, around once and then back, around once and a half and then back, around once and a half and back. Or again, jumping over to the other move, you can practice that, which is still a really great move. If you don't do a full flat spin, that still looks really good. I think, uh, I think Michael Bean did that in Tombstone with one of his tricks there, fling it around like so. And uh, you could even add on to that one, go around and then down and around. So you're going over to here, but then you're letting it dip down into the one and a half like so. So round, or boom, 